So I'm in the back shed where I've got my largest rain water collection unit here. I had a problem in the fall emptying it. I'm going to try and fix that by putting in a pump. Let's stick around. We're going to see what we can do to fix this. <laughs> So down in this area, I've got a bunch of pipes and hoses and valves and all kinds of stuff. This was taking it to the outside. Now the problem I have is that the lowest part of the pipe becomes the lowest level of water that I can draw out. So I'm never able to empty it completely. We have had times when the cistern was completely empty. And this was completely full. And we sure would like to, to supplement our cistern use. I'm going to try and turn this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of water still left in it. I might have to empty it a bit before I can actually move it. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty heavy. So what we've got to deal with now is give this a bit more light. There we are. I'm going to clean it out. Well, we've got a broken valve that used to be here. So this valve was busted up. So originally what I had done before is I just siliconed a piece on there and it minimized the leak, but it didn't eliminate it. But it got us, got us through the summer, which was good. Uh, what I want to do now, I think that I thought about it, I'm going to cut this valve part completely off. Because I'd rather deal with what's behind there than this big obstruction here. So down here I cut off everything that could uh, be, be an obstruction. I'm just running my hand around it and I'm finding little burrs here and there. I'm going to be putting a uh, Burnco style adapter on there. So I, I slid a 2 inch Burnco on there and it's a little larger but I've, I've tightened up this hose clamp about as tight as I dare. Usually when you can't turn this by hand, it's tight enough to make a watertight seal. It's going to be, uh, we're not going to know until we actually have it on. We're going to clamp this on to the other end. What about? Got to put this on. And again, we're going to tighten this up until I can't turn it. I'm hoping that's going to be okay. Like I said, we're not going to know until there's water in it. Spread this on for now. Have to test it. Gonna have to dump some water in there. So I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking everything looks pretty good. The water up above the line, and we're not getting any kind of leaky at all. It's dry as a bone under here, which is good. So now, what I want to do now is uh, drain this. Now I've mucked up the water pretty good, so hopefully this will uh, this will empty out pretty good. While I was off camera, I did a bunch of wiring, brought some electrical into here. Because I'm going to hook up this pump. Okay, so I've got a shallow well pump. It's old and it's decrepit. And I think it's the well pump that was originally here when I moved 10 years ago. We've since uh, upgraded our system, obviously. But it's here. And so I'm going to try and use it. One thing that this pump doesn't have that normally you want to have, and that's uh, the pressure valve. This one doesn't have one. The line coming out of the pressure valve is here. So I'm just going to plug it off here with a pair of ice grips, and that'll be enough. What I'm hoping to accomplish here, I'm going to hook all this up. 
when I turn on this pump, open up this valve, this, this tank here is, I filled it all up with the water that originally came out of this tank. So I, I need to rinse out the tank and I need to test my pump. So I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to drain the water from here. Hopefully it'll come through this hose and I'll just rinse that off. And if anything uh, messes up, then up the mess up. Hopefully it'll go pretty smooth. That looks to be pretty successful. That's a lot of pressure. That's exciting. I don't want a leak back here. Anywhere here on this rubber piece. I've got a small leak. Very small. No, it's not very small. It is leaking out here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to wrap it up with flux tape and hopefully that'll be enough to slow it even more. <sighs> start. Huh? Let's get this off and we'll put a 90 on it and, and we'll direct it up there. I'll pound one of these on there. So with our valve down here and our switch up here, when we turn on the switch, that's going to start the pump. And then we'll have full flow of water coming out of this bigot. I reconnect the eaves trough to it and this job is done. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my store. See you next time. Thank you.